you're Mick Taggart. I'm Danielle, Mick Taggart, and we're Dear Rouge. My favorite album cover is Radiohead The Bends because Tom York looks like this weird alien on the front cover. <laughs> and I was 10 years old, my older brother got it, and I was listening to the most generic music possible. So I listened to it, and then obviously I was ruined by Radiohead. <laughs> <laughs> this actually was kind of a hard question because there's so many great covers, but I chose uh, David Bowie, Aladdin Sane, because he's an iconic figure in that photo. Yeah is amazing. I mean, it's everyone knows it. He's just such an icon, such a creative figure, and, and I love him. So I, I love David Bowie so much as that. My favorite person to watch on stage has to be Kevin Drew from Broken Social Scene. Just because I've seen him so many times being, you know, in Canada and Vancouver. I've seen him at festivals, I've seen him in small club shows, and he's always different. Like sometimes he'll, he'll be more emotional, or one time I've seen him, he was drunk. One time <laughs> he was like, uh, I saw him at Sasquatch, and he was like the most enthusiastic, like pumping up the crowd, just like high on life. And he's always sincere when he's performing. So it, when I go see Kevin Drew, I don't know what I'm gonna get, but I know it's sincere and it's, it's pretty awesome. My favorite vocalist is there's so many amazing singers. Um, I feel like it has to do with being sentimental more than it has to do with maybe their actual vocal ability. Um, I had a hard time deciding, but I chose Johnny Cash because I grew up listening to him. My dad loved him, and so whenever you hear his voice, it just it's dark and soothing and, and classic. So Johnny Cash. Hope I don't get in trouble for this. But um, my first time at Coachella, I've talked about it a bit, but I, I have so much fun there. Um, I jumped the fence. And Jay-Z was the headliner that night. And it was just, I've never seen someone perform with so much authority. Whatever he told us to do, the whole audience was doing it. Just felt like one unit of people just having a really, really good time. So I would say that was my favorite show, actually. And I'm not even like a huge rap fan. Like I just like, but I know all his songs. He's a classic guy, right? He's just like, he's got authority and you yeah. love that. We're not like a band that has like a, you know, actual like routine, but we always get to the green room like 15 minutes before. We'll have a shot of whiskey. We both do that. Just to take the edge off. Clears your throat out. It's really good for the Not guys. multiple shots of whiskey. I'd say that our ritual though is one shot of whiskey. drive into the city and it's green and it's lush and it looks like this yeah. and um, so we're, we're really that's one of our favorite things is and, coming home and with this city this spot that we're actually standing was the first De Rouge video and De Rouge performance because we were in um, at the peak performance project the the radio contest and we hadn't played a show but you had to submit a live video so we got an acoustic guitar taped it Taped with an iPad. iPad to it and we sang right here in black and white. We did the first song that we ever wrote too. Some friends I knew in high school were sitting in the back as we were playing. It's awesome. It's just a cool place because it, it's sort of the start of, of Deer Rouge for us. Yeah, it's fun. Um, 